All right, now we're doing 8Q fake binary. This is by PG1, 91% of the people like it. We're, and given a string of digits, we're going to replace any digit below five with zero and any digit five and above with one. We'll return the resulting string. And uh, input will never be an empty string, all right? So basically, we're gonna start off by having to uh, turn this X right here into an array. And here's what the X's are gonna look like right here. So we're gonna turn this X into array. And by to do that, we're going to use prototype.split. The, the split method divides a string into an ordered list of substrings, puts the substrings into an array, and returns the array. The division is done by searching for a pattern where the pattern is provided as the first parameter in the method's call, right? So here we go right here. Uh, split, excuse me, we're gonna do str.split and we're splitting it by the spaces. So these spaces is where we're splitting them. So each one of these words is gonna be an element in a new array. So it's calling for words three. So zero, one, two, three. So fox is at index three. Now, on this one, they're splitting by the spaces in between the characters. So, right here, it's calling for char char chars 8, my bad. Uh, so, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it's K, right? Boom. And this one here, call it, it's calling nothing. It's doing splitting by nothing. So, it just puts the whole thing in an array like so. All right. So, we're going to do x.split. And it's going to be by the spaces in between. So right like that. Now we're going to have to convert these into either zeros or ones. So we're going to have to use map since we're not doing any kind of like uh, summation, you know, so we don't need reduce or anything. So we're going to do map. And uh, let me show you what map does real quick. The map method creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So, for example, this array one dot map x arrow function x times two. So each time each one of these elements is going to go through as x. So one times two is two, four times two is eight, nine times two is eighteen, sixteen times two is thirty-two. Right, and as you see, reset it and run it. Look, it worked. Awesome. So that's what we're going to do here. Except for we're going to use a good old ternary operator. So we're going to do y, and we're going to do a arrow function and arrow function. And we're using y. I usually use x, but I'll just use y on this one. All right. So y, and if y is less than five. Uh, we'll return a zero, and if not, we'll return a one, right? <clears throat> so that's cool. Now we have zeros and ones. Let's show you what we got right now. So now we've got a bunch of zeros and ones, uh, but it, excuse me. So now we've got undefined, but we need to make it equal zeros and ones. So we'll do uh, dot join. Excuse me. We'll join it together with this dot join here. So the join method creates and returns a new string by concatenating all of the elements in an array or an array like object separated by commas or a specified separator string. If the array has only one item, then that item will be returned without using a separator. So right here, there's no separator. So they use commas like they said right here. Uh, this one is the spaces between the characters. So here we go, one here and one here. And this one's by hyphens, so it joins it by these hyphens, all right? So we're gonna do dot join, and it's going to be the spaces in between the characters. Let's test it out. Still not working, why? <laughs> I'm not return it, buddy. Well, let me, let me do a control X on that one. I want to see what this, is, this says. Okay, yeah, see, it returns the. Okay, cool. Anyway, I'll do it smoother next time. Doesn't matter. So, dot join, test it. Look, it's good. Attempt it. Look, it's good. Submit it. Awesome. Let's see my solutions. 21 of us. 
and all of these of us. Best practice, two of us, and very like a lot of us. And we'll see you next time.